The CESA exam covers five domain areas. These domains are all examinable with different weighting in the exam. The exam is 200 multiple choice questions to be completed within a four hour period. CESA exams are done in June, September, and December of each calendar year. Below is a summary of the CESA domains. Domain one covers auditing information systems and accounts for 14% of the CESA exam. Domain 2 covers governance and management of information technology and accounts for 14% of the CESA exam. Domain 3 covers information systems acquisition, implementation, and development and accounts for 19% of the CESA exam. Domain 4 covers information systems operations, support, and maintenance and accounts for 23% of the CESA exam. Domain 5 covers protection of information resources and accounts for 30% of the CESA exam. Let us discuss the value of CESA in the next screen. When one attains the CESA certification, they acquire a globally accepted and recognized certification as well as get more value at the workplace. They also become trusted consultants at the workplace and they get recognized for their expertise, among many other benefits. We will learn about CESA certification in the next screen. For you to obtain the CESA certification, you need to pass the CESA exam with at least 450 marks out of the total 800 marks, then apply for certification. Before you apply for certification, you need to have a minimum of five years' experience, even though ISACA grants a number of waivers. The waivers available can be sourced from the ISACA website. In addition, you need to agree to ISACA Code of Professional Ethics, follow continuing education program, and comply with IS auditing standards. Let us learn about CESA exam in the next screen. The CESA exam questions are prepared with the intent of measuring and testing practical knowledge. The CESA exams are prepared with the aim of gauging and testing hands-on skills in information system control and audit. It is a paper-based exam that consists of 200 multiple-choice questions covering five practice areas which must be completed within a four-hour period. All questions have four multiple-choice and are intended for one correct answer. The CESA student should choose the correct answer from the choices. ISACA uses a scale from 200 to 800 when grading the examination, and minimum pass mark for the CESA exam is 450 marks. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.